Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to install Windows 8.1 on a Mac. Ok guys, so I've done some tutorials about installing Windows 8 uh, in the past. Um, why would you want to install Windows 8? Well there's a lot of new features uh, in Windows 8 and they've also, Microsoft has also put in the, uh, the start bar. So the start bar that I initially took away, they've added that uh, start bar button back to, uh, to Windows 8. So um, first of all I just want to talk a little bit about the versions, um, there seems to be confusion about the versions of Boot Camp and also versions of Windows that you have. Um, at the moment there's two versions of Windows 8.1. Uh, there's uh, 8.1 64-bit and 8.1 32-bit and I've got a copy of uh, both of those um, just on this disk here. Now you can actually download these from the Microsoft site um, I'll put the links in the description a little bit later on, but you can download each one of these and uh, install them uh, or copy them to a CD and then okay, install guys, so them. Okay, so we're going to uh, set up the partition and we're going to use a piece of software called Bootcamp. Now, Bootcamp should already be installed on your Mac. It comes with OS X and it's a free application. You can just go into your spotlight up the top and type in boot and then it will come up with the Bootcamp Assistant. Alright, I'm going to click on that one. We want to start that up. Now, there's also two different types of boot camp. There's, uh, might be the easiest way to explain this, there's a 64-bit version which comes with uh, mainly your later Macs, so models from uh, 2011 upwards, um, and there's a boot camp system uh, and boot camp 4 which is a 32-bit, supports 32-bit hardware and is uh, is from 2010 backwards basically. So on this Mac it's a little bit old, it's a 2010, late 2010 model and we've got the Boot Camp Assistant version 4. Now um, some people when they put in the CDs or the DVD and they get some errors saying you know the version is incorrect this and that, you have to try and match the version of uh, Windows to the version of Boot Camp. Okay. Um, now you, there becomes a bit of a grey area because some bits of hardware will support both versions, uh, but they may be running an old version of uh, Boot Camp Assistant. If you want to go through um, and download uh, the Boot Camp drivers, you can get them from uh, my, the 123MyIT website. So if you type in 123myit.com, which will bring you up to this website here, and click on Downloads, scroll down and you will see uh, Boot Camp Direct Apple Downloads, okay, so it's just a, a link directly to where you can download them uh, from the Apple website, so you can get them there. Also, when you're there, check out my other tutorials, there's loads of stuff on here, loads of great stuff on here. Okay, alright, so it says here now, <coughs> Introduction. Boot Camp Assistant helps install Microsoft Windows on an Intel based Mac by downloading the necessary support software, creating a partition for your disk uh, for Windows and then starting the Windows installer. Refer to the Boot Camp instructions. OK, so we're just going to hit continue. Alright, now you get two options here. It will come up and we'll say download the latest Windows support software from Apple. OK. Um, I've already done that and I've got it on a USB key here, this one here, and I'm going to plug that in in a sec. So I'm going to actually remove that download part, um, but if you're doing a new install and you don't have these drivers, what I suggest you do is you leave that ticked and then uh, when you hit next it will actually ask you to, ask to specify a USB key. Now this is a 1 gig uh, USB key, but it could be you might need, let's say, a 2 gig one, should be okay for 64 bit versions. Um, and then below that, it's got install Windows 7. Now, you can ignore that part. This, the reason why it says Windows 7 is because it's running Boot Camp 4, it doesn't officially support Windows 8 uh, because it's a, a kind of an earlier release, but you can still install it. Um, so, even though it says Windows 7 there, you can just leave that ticked. Um, now I'm going to use the Windows uh, 8.1 
32-bit uh, DVD, and I'm going to pop that into the drive. I've already now. downloaded all the details I need to do on on the USB drive, so I'm going to uncheck the top one, download the latest support software from Apple. I'm going to uncheck that, and I'm going to leave Install Windows 7 checked. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Continue. All right, now when you install Boot Camp. Um, and uh, when you set up your disk on your uh, the internal disk on your Mac, um, what it will do, it will ask you here if you want to partition it. Okay. Now, normally, what you would do, depending on how you want to set this up, you can leave it as is with giving Windows just 20 gigabytes of space. Um, I usually, for myself, I just go. I want to divide it equally, so I want to have. One, one, one disk of 124 gigabytes for OS X and one disk of 125 gigabytes uh, for Windows. Um, so I'll just, Each I'll operating just system it requires its own partition on the disk. Drag the divider to set the size of the partitions. Click the Divide Equally button. Okay, which is what I've done now. Um, the other thing I want to mention, because a lot of people ask this question, uh, will it wipe anything on my OS X drive? Uh, the answer is no. Um, it, all it is is taking up some some space on your OSX drive, so 125 gig. Now, if you've totally filled up your OSX drive and you don't have 20 gigs of space, um, then you won't be able to install it. So you'll need to actually free up some space so on your hard disk. We'll just hit okay. install there. Now I've put in the CD. If you don't have the CD in at this stage, it won't won't actually go to the next step. So it actually detects the CD or the DVD, I should say, the Windows. 8.1 DVD. It makes sure that you have the correct DVD in there, or that it's happy that it's got some type of Windows DVD. Now, guys, you can put in any uh, Windows DVD from, um, you know, right back from Windows XP, Vista Works, uh, Windows 7 Works, and Windows 8. They all work, um, but you need the the problem is you need to match your uh, bit version with the version that you have, the version of Boot Camp that you have installed um, on your Mac. Okay, so I've just got an error here. So it says the disk cannot be partitioned because some files cannot be moved. Back up the disk and use disk utility to format it as a single Mac OS extended journal volume. Restore your information to the disk and try using Boot Partition again. Okay, so it's basically saying that for whatever reason it can't divide equally. I'm going to try dragging this down and see if we can make this smaller. And we'll try that first. Uh, I'm going to make it 60 gig partition and then go install. Let's see what so it does. Again, now. it's uh, detecting the DVD to see if the DVD is there. Okay, so there we have it. So we've got the Windows 8 uh, 8.1 screen there and I'm just going to go down and set my time and currency format to Australia language English United States hit next and then install okay now you need a, a serial key for this one um, just enter in your if you're doing this with any other version of Windows then enter in your serial click key and accept your license agreement and go next uh, click on custom install now you want to go down to where it says uh, drive partition boot camp and it says it, there's the uh, 56 gigabytes, so we set it for 60, but you actually don't get a full 60. It actually, some of that space is uh, you lose some of that space when you do a format. So let's say 56.1 gig. Uh, I'm just going to go format, click OK, and right, that removes one. that boot camp, and then I'm just going to hit next. All right, now this will go through and uh, install Windows 8.1. Uh, this actually takes a bit of time, so um, I'll probably cut the video here, stop the video, and then. Uh, Start it back up when it's um, when it gets past okay, the so installing stage. Uh, in installing the files from the DVD, and it'll probably do a reboot in okay. a second. Restart now. So it's just start up now. So you can type in your name. It's going to put one, two, three, my, my two into the Windows eight uh, eight point one. You can actually use any of these colours here. You can slide it whichever way you want. I think I'll just stay on the blue for now and hit next. Okay, you can uh, upload, uh, put in your Wi Fi connection here. So you can hit Wi Fi and just type in your password real quick. Uh, 
you can go through and customize all, all these uh, express settings if you want. I'm just going to go use express settings uh, for this okay, tutorial. Now it tries to actually um, force you to have like a so new account here. Create a new account and then down the bottom it's got sign in without a Microsoft account. That's the one you want there so click on that and you can obviously if you have uh, a Hotmail account or a Microsoft account by all means go through and set up that part but I, I actually don't have one that I want on my PC so I'm just gonna hit use express settings don't have an account I want to create an account and then just use this sign in without a Microsoft account press that one there and then you can just put in whatever the username you want. Alright, so obviously you can go through and fill that out with whatever password and um, details you want and it takes you through this uh, just like a setting up part where it's actually checking for all the updates and setting everything up in the background. This takes about maybe five minutes, five ten minutes, depends on the speed of your Mac. Okay, and then we have it now. So we've got the start menu, and you can see that it's got the little fish in the background. That's the uh, Windows Blue. Um, you can see the differences are here now. You've got this little icon at the bottom here. You would either tap on that or just click on that, and it takes you down to your apps bar. Um, you can see all your apps bar there, and then just a click, and it takes takes you back up to your start menu. Um, if you click on desktop, and now you actually have your Windows Start menu. Sorry, I don't think a, your Windows Start menu in the bottom right-hand corner there. And when you actually go to there, you can tab between your Start menu and your desktop. All right, guys. Now, where some of you will have some problems whereby the drivers don't work. Um, now, this is something that you need to uh, sort out. Um, with your uh, by installing the drivers from your USB key. So remember before how we said we had a uh, USB key and we've downloaded all the drivers on that USB key. Well, the side of the Mac. In. Okay. Tap to choose. Open the folder. Right now you should have, if everything went correctly, uh, you should have a Windows support folder. All right. And then under there, you've got a folder called Drivers. Now normally you can just click on, double click on this Setup, and this will install all the drivers for you. Okay. Um, but then with Windows 8.1, because it's such a, a latest release of the version, uh, you'll get this problem here, where it says Problem Compatibility Assistant. This program has compatibility issues. Apple Computer. Blah blah blah. Okay, so how do you know that your drivers are installed or not? Okay, if we go back into our start menu, go down to our apps, and go across to our control panel. Okay, click on uh, hardware and sound, and click on device manager. Alright. Now you'll see here uh, your device manager. This is a list of all your um, hardware that's installed on your Mac. And the ones that uh, don't have a yellow asterisk next to it means that they're all working the yellow okay. asterisks so are not working OK. So you need to install the drivers for those from the USB key. Now, just because they don't have an asterisk next to them doesn't mean that they're working correctly. For example, if we have a look here at this display adapters, We've got a Microsoft Basic Display Adapter that works and it will work, uh, but it's not the Nvidia one that's inside your Mac. Okay, so this is where your USB comes in handy. So if we just right-click on that and go to Update Driver Software, click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software, click on Browse, scroll down to where it's got the where you've got your USB flash drive installed. Go into the Windows Support software, go into Drivers, and go down to where it's got NVIDIA. Now, because this is the older version, which is the Bootcamp 4, 
um, you will actually have software, both 64-bit software and 32-bit software. But because it's Boot Camp 4, I only need the 32-bit software, and only 32-bit software will work on my older Mac that I have here. So I need to select Windows 7 32-bit software, and then click OK, and then go Next. All right. And now it says it's installing the driver. Now, the display driver um, fixes up all your resolution and display and uh, things like that within your Windows. So I would suggest that uh, you in make sure you install that one, um, especially if it's an NVIDIA driver, because it means that you'll be able to play games. Whereas if you don't install this driver, let's say you install some game that runs on Windows, it may not work without the NVIDIA driver installed. Okay, so it's it's really important that the, that you go through and do this this step or these steps. Once this is installed, it probably asks us to reboot. But I just want to show you real quick how we're going to get rid of those other asterisks um, uh, device drivers that that aren't aren't working very okay. well with Windows. So you can see there now it says Windows has successfully updated your driver. And now if you have a look, it says NVIDIA GeForce 320M. So that's the mobility one. It wants us to do a restart, which I won't do right now. But if we now have a look at the display adapter, now we have a NVIDIA GeForce 320. And that means that uh, when we try and run some games, 3D games and things like that, we'll have a better chance of actually having it working um, under this uh, version of Windows. All right, so if we now scroll down to uh, the first one that has the asterisk beside it, which is the Bluetooth USB host controller, same deal again. We just go right-click Update Software, go to Browse, go to Browse again, go into the Flash. Actually, we don't even need to browse again. It's all, oh, yes, we do. Go into uh, Flash, go into Windows Support, click OK, and then hit Next. All right. Now, if it comes up and it says it's unable to find or install the driver, just just hit close on that. Go down and go into back into your USB uh, adapter. Go into Drivers, and then go into uh, where does it say? Go into Apple. And underneath Apple, you'll have all the drivers uh, within here. So, what is it? A blue is. Uh, just go through and double click uh, anything within this folder, this very first folder, which says Apple. It's a driver for 32 bit. Anything in the X64, it's a 64 bit driver. Okay, just so you know. So, you can literally just go through and double click on all of these. Click yes. Go next. Accept the agreement. Next again, and it will install the driver, and you'll you'll see that some of these will start to disappear. Okay, that Bluetooth device driver has now disappeared, and it's actually become part of the working network adapter. See how it's disappeared there? Now we've only got three. So you just go through, just do the same thing again. Um, all right, guys. So that's pretty much it. That's how you install it, and that will get all your devices, all your drivers and devices working okay once you install Windows. Alright, guys, so nine. if that was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe in the YouTube channel and uh, share this out to your mates. And uh, if it was helpful, leave a thumbs up and uh, leave some feedback on the website. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.